This video provides instructions for completing your CalWORKs Employment Services monthly attendance and child care billing forms. CalWORKs Employment Services participants are required to complete a monthly attendance report. If your child care is approved through the CalWORKs program, you're also required to turn in a completed monthly child care billing form. The attendance report is called the SCD 1755A. It has two sides that must be completed. The SCD 1755A is used to report attendance and welfare to work approved activities. Your employment counselor will be assigning you activities based on your welfare to work plan. On the top of side 1, enter the month and year that corresponds to your attendance and welfare to work activities. In Section 2, enter your full name, address, case number, last four digits of your social security number, email address, case name, name of your assigned employment counselor, your counselor's worker number, address of your worker, and phone number. In Section 3, if there was a change in address, phone number, employment, child care provider, or other changes, enter a check mark in the check mark box. After the check mark, describe the change. It is important to also inform your eligibility worker of the changes. In Section 4, check the box if you're including your completed child care billing report. Read the information after Section 4. Complete Side 2 of your attendance report. On the top of Side 2, print your full name and enter the last four digits of your social security number and your case number. Enter the month and year that corresponds to your attendance month. When the form is completed electronically, the month and year of the report, case number, and last four digits of your social security number entered on Side 1 will automatically populate to Side 2. In Section 5, enter your travel time each way from your home to your welfare to work activity. And if you have CalWORKs approved childcare, include this time in your total travel time. In Section 6, list your activity name. There is room to list from 1 to 3 activities. If you have more than 3 activities, use another attendance form. If absent, such as due to illness, jury duty, holiday, enter the date and reason for each absence. Enter participation time for each activity. When completing the form electronically, enter participation time by selecting the start and end times from the drop-down arrows for each activity. To enter your lunch time, select the lunch time from the drop-down arrow for each activity. On a daily basis, enter the total participation hours for each activity. Then enter the total daily hours for all activities in the total hours per day column. When the form is completed electronically, the total hours per activity and total hours for all activities will be automatically calculated. On the days you were absent or not scheduled to work or attend your activity, leave blank. Reminder. Do not include your travel time or lunch time in your activity totals. Travel time is listed in Section 5. When the form is completed electronically, lunch time is automatically subtracted from the total hours. As the form is completed electronically each day, the monthly hours for each activity will be automatically calculated. The form will also automatically calculate the total hours for all activities for the month. Ask each Welfare to Work Activity site provider to complete this section to verify your attendance. Read the certification section and sign the form. Include a contact phone number in case your employment counselor needs to contact you during the day. The form must be signed and dated after the last day of the report month. Your employment counselor completes the county use section. Participants who have CalWORKs approved childcare must also return a completed childcare billing form. The child care billing form is the SED 1755B. If your child care is approved through CalWORKs, your child care provider must complete a monthly child care billing form. Ask your child care provider to return the completed form to you for you to turn in along with your attendance report. The child care billing month must be the same month as your attendance report month. Remember, your attendance and child care billing forms must be returned to your employment counselor no later than the fifth day of the month following the report month. Remember, a late attendance report results in non-compliance which may result in discontinuance of your CalWORKs cash aid. 
A late report may also delay payments for childcare, transportation, and work and training related expenses. If you are employed, include copies of your paycheck stubs worked during the attendance report month. You may obtain copies of your SED 1755 forms by contacting your employment counselor or by downloading the forms from the Employment Connection website. Your completed attendance and child care billing forms may be returned through regular mail, dropped off in person at your employment counselor's office, faxed, or returned electronically such as via email. Your employment counselor will provide you with the office address and phone number. To better assist you with supportive services, inform your employment counselor immediately if you stopped working, obtained a new job, if there is a change in participation, or if there is a change in childcare needs. You're required to participate in your activity for the number of assigned weekly hours. If you have questions on how to complete your attendance and childcare billing forms, contact your assigned employment counselor for assistance.